I found out about Maggie's apartment purely by chance. Someone I follow retweeted the release tweet, and obviously what caught my eye was the art style. I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. I knew I had to play it. And that's really all I knew going into the game. After completing it, all I could say is, that was really something. I'm going to give a review thing and all that now, but just know that I highly recommend playing Maggie's Apartment. Alright, so developed by Anatola Howard and Duncan Cross, Maggie's Apartment is a point-and-click adventure game. In it, you play as the titular Maggie, a marshmallow girl, who one day is locked in her apartment, but she's perfectly fine with it. She lives with her boyfriend Randy Rosebud, a pop superstar who just went out for a gig. As you interact with all the wacky characters who live around you, you start to suspect things are not as they seem, and all from your one-room apartment. That's right, this game only takes place in a one-room apartment, but you never feel confined. There's many people to interact with through these walls, and it's through these interactions where the game really shines. All the inhabitants in Maggie's apartment are zany, but charming. I loved conversing with Duncan the Cactus and learning about his existential crisis. Help? Liberation? You cannot help me. I loved how Beauty just wants what's best for Maggie. Who knew one could get so attached to a cactus and radish? It's, it's alright, I don't mind a bit of solitude every now and then. Don't worry about me. How are you? Your interactions with them I won't dare spoil. It's just something you need to experience. There's a playfulness with the dialogue that gives the game a lot of heart. I want to know more about them, but at the same time felt satisfied with what I received. This is due in large part to the game's great voice acting. Each actor captures what makes their character who they are, really strengthening the delivery of the dialogue. On the gameplay side of things, its controls work well. The only change to the adventure formula being that there isn't an inventory. You just click, hold, and drag an item if you want to use it on something. It took a little getting used to, but results in a much more streamlined playing experience. Puzzles aren't difficult as long as you interact with every object and every one. I had a little trouble finding some of the hot spots I could click on, but it's not like there's a ton of space to mouse your way through. And I know I touched on this, but OMG. The kids still use that term, right? This art is amazing. The style, the art, and animation works so well with the tone of the game. It honestly is one of the best looking games I've seen this year. The soundtrack is great as well, and I continue to listen to it even after completing the game. If you purchase the game, it comes with the soundtrack for free, just so you know. Its oddly specific lyrics are both humorous and a pleasure to listen to. Constantly in the background, the music helps color the experience all the more. I just can't praise this game enough. It is both playful and mature at the same time. Maggie's apartment just has so much heart it can't help but touch you. Starting out so carefree but becoming so much more, Maggie's apartment is a venture that I enjoyed every minute of. I can't say more than this game is a real gem, and you should go play it. Maggie's apartment is available to purchase on Steam. Thank you for watching. Oh, you're such a kidder, Steve. But we don't play anything hey, I get where that's from.